everybody. The uh, young man took his new girlfriend to dinner and she ordered rice and he said, how do you want your rice? Boiled or fried? And she said, thrown. And another new girlfriend was talking to her new boyfriend and she said, what do you do for a living? And he says, I am on the cutting edge of technology. And his buddy says, that's right, he mows the lawn at IBM. We're here to try to cheer you up, bring you happiness all day long today. And you know, one of the best ways to do it, folks, is fill yourself with the Holy Spirit. My goodness, how do you do that? Well, you think about good things. Yes, there's bad things, but you choose to think about good things. What good things? The magnificence of this universe, all of its glory, all of the stars and the galaxies, and how the earth rotates and brings you night and day. Isn't that a wonderful thing? The earth doesn't drop into the sun. No, it's there every day. And how it rotates around the sun and how we, how we have our seasons. Daylight saving time's gone. And that's paradise behind us, folks. Do you see the path to paradise? So that's one good thing, is that you fill yourselves with the Holy Spirit and enjoy each moment. Enjoy each moment. Don't let this wonderful, beautiful moment go by without being enjoyed. And be thankful for it. And realize that it's a great gift. And give thanks instead of complain. How's that to keep you happy today? Gosh, maybe you'll be happier than I am. And this also, folks, uh, see each moment as a precious gift and what? An opportunity. An opportunity to do great things. Now, if you're down in the dumps, the thing to do is to go out and do something nice for somebody. Just go out and do something nice. And be strengthened to do your earthly mission. Do you know what your earthly mission is yet? Well, in general, it's to be helpful and good and give a hand, give strength and health and happiness to somebody else. In general, that's what it is. Okay. And our hymn for today. Spirit of God, descend upon your heart. Wean it from earth, through all its pulses move. Stoop to our weakness, mighty as thou art. And make us love thee as we ought to love. Would you please pray for Bob Baum? His heart can't pump right and it can't pump the blood and it's piling up. And would you please pray for Janet Nichols' anorexia? She just cannot make herself eat. And would you pray for Barbara Mooney in excruciating back pain all the time? And also in back pain is Joseph Cronin. So we'll see you tomorrow morning for a couple of minutes of good cheer and goodwill and happiness.